Hello peoples, welcome to another episode of Mob Talks. This is uh, a Kia e-Nero. Finally, we, we finally got around to testing it. And, uh, well, the first thing I can say is that this is a very, very familiar milieu to be in. This is very strange, I've had the soul, I have now the uh, Hyundai Ionic. Uh, but it, it's nice, you sit high up, it, it, it's a, clearly, we just got in it, but it is clearly a bigger car than the Kona. It's, it feels more spacious. Yeah. And you have the glass roof, sunroof, so it's, 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 it's a, well it's not a three, but it is a sunroof and it lets the light in. And you can also open it, I won't open it now because it's a grey day and it's slightly wet outside, so we don't want that in the car, do we? But we have to thank uh, Bachelor Stan Sarsko for lending us the car. Yeah. Very, very service minded. We, we were now at uh, 12 o'clock and the sales guy just said to us, we close at 2, we'll be back till then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go over the interior. This isn't going to be a deep dive into it, but still. Ah, light and air. The screen, which is uh, the same basic system as it is in all Kia Hyundai, basically. The newer ones are a little bit bigger. Uh, but it's the same thing, you have the EV information here, and you're charging, and you're driving, and your radio, and so on. And your maps, your navigation. Climate control buttons. Uh, this is a uh, wireless charging space. It's a bit, little bit fiddly, but that's how it is. It is there, at least. I like this uh, Jaguar-esque uh, gear button uh, or, or direction selector. You just twist it and you park and you uh, auto hold here. All your normal amenities, of course, heating, cooled seats, heat steering wheel, park sensors and drive mode and so on. And here you have a big cubby hold. Or, if you want, you can have cup holders. Just do this. We can just cover it up, of course. I like the fact that uh, they moved the buttons here. Vis-a-vis uh, -vis the Ionic, where the buttons are in the back. I have, they're a little bit here, you can actually see them. So they're easy to find in the darkness. Nice accessible storage space. Big, not that big actually. A little bit uh, deep, but uh, narrow. Um, center armrest. Of course you have there, and your buttons and there, your normal standard controls. Memory, electric seats your uh, instrument uh, cluster lighting and your traction control, lane keeping and so on. I like the front, I like the, uh, the this contrast color, I think it's on all cars, it's going to be except this is the charcoal grey. Charging port here. It's got a bit of flack because it, uh, it isn't very well isolated against snow, so it builds up here and it freezes and it sometimes also prohibits you from charging. That's it. Space is considerably better than in the Kona, which is very narrow. This is behind the cells and I can. It's a pinch, but it works. Uh, headroom. Uh, yeah, and the view out from the back is good. And you also have same center almost. Just before, no ski uh, opening. It's much easier to get in and out of it, given that you you have your uh, chargers, deep boot, very nice subwoofer here. Small. 
No. Then we have under here you can we have a tire repair kit and stuff. Maybe you can fit some charge cables here. It's rated at 455 kilometers, as you can see. Park light, the DRLs are down there. I think they can look very cool. The blinking is here, it's just picked up by the camera, you never see it in reality. It's a little fresh rate to the LEDs. And of course, you have the, uh, the, the driving lights here. This is a full LED light package on the car, so it, it, it lights up very well in darkness. Sadly, I don't have time to test that today. Also, have Apple CarPlay. Uh, and the stereo from JBL. It rocks. Um, not quite as uh, as as well. I don't know. We are a little bit. Uh, what do you say? Uh, we are a little bit spoiled with the Tesla. Yeah, we were on Tesla stuff <laughs> a few weeks back. Yeah. It's, it's like we're a little well, bit spoiled. Of yeah, because uh, their their stereo sound is just so. Nobody can touch that. Um, yes you can but Mercedes it's, come it's, it's, it's I mean it's just really 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 loud and so well defined and so sort of fills up all the gaps yeah. but it, the sound system here is good it's a good car I mean it's a Kia you know they've they really become very good cars and now if you wonder where we are <laughs> This is uh, Moss Airport, uh, Rigge, and it's a fully functional airport, one of the most modern in Norway. And it was closed down, uh, what, four years ago now? Three, Three or four years ago. Uh, and it's crazy, because everything is here. Uh, so, it's, uh, it's, I thought, well, you know, we have space here to do, to do whatever you want to. Uh, yeah. But, but that, uh, that's also a shame that we have a full functional airport. And, and it's just dead. Yeah. It's the saddest thing you can imagine to see. Anyway, the car. Especially for me as a plane enthusiast. So. Yeah. Yeah, we can have some fun. Oh, we have to take the tree there. Oh, brilliant. It's a big car, it's a big parking space here. You can have fun with the Model 3. Um, this car, you know, it's the. Yeah, it goes alright. Uh, I mean, if you come from a 2 litre diesel, then I, this would have cost me to just blow your pants off. Most people do come from a 2 litre diesel. The seats are good. But a good thing I don't get car sick. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, no, not in this one. I did get car sick. But this doesn't invite to. I mean, it's a. It's it's good to sit high up again. It's a nice place to be, as in all uh, old cars from this car, from the Kia Yuta, you know? It just become better and better and better for every iteration I drive. Uh, and you get in here, we start off with 200, uh, three, 360 kilometers. And if you toggle through Sport and Normal and Eco Plus, it, uh, it changes the... Uh, the range read out accordingly, so it does some mathematics there. And uh, well, most of my uh, my experience with with the cars of this group is that uh, it's a pretty accurate read out. Yeah, you, you have to, depending on how you drive, of course, but uh, you can trust it mostly. You can you have to have got uh, the buffer on top, but but if you drive sensibly, there's no problem getting 300 kilometers out of this thing today. You can drive this, uh, I think, if you drive carefully, uh, you can drive to Trondheim with this with all the one stop. Yeah, and that, would, that, that is at least how I would drive normally with, uh, with any car yeah. to Trondheim, because I would just stop and I would have some food. Uh, so you wouldn't be using any more time. 
And of course you have it. It's well equipped. It has basically all the equipment. You have uh, the sunroof. You have adaptive cruise control, all the safety stuff, uh, climate control, CarPlay, Nav. Yeah. Range. Sorry. You have the range. Yeah, you have the big battery bank. Yeah, the lot really. And this is uh, for what four hundred and twelve thousand loop. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how. Well, what the charges is for other colors, but you know, basically that's that's it. They only sell one spec, and that's all top spec cars. The same as they do with the with the um, Kona, more or less. It's a little bit cheaper. The Kona is a smaller car. This is, uh, yeah, this is basically a uh, competitor to the Y. Though. In a way, because it size-wise, I think it would be about the same size. Both are uh, small SUVs, yeah. but uh, they're completely different. I mean, Tesla does things the Tesla way. There, they have, you have your buttons, you have your, you know, you have your, you have it. It's a very competent and very, very good car. That's why I always drag for Kia Hyundai. When I say you don't like the way Tesla do things, buy a in Europe, for instance, or maybe in two years I will say buy a Seat El Boon or, or a Skoda. But but you know, it's, yeah, this car I would recommend uh, if, if my dad that are not um, EV enthusiast, but if he came to me and said, Robert, I would like to buy an EV. But it, I, I might know what he, what he would like in a car. He would like a car that's easy to get in and out of. He's not getting younger. But he would also like a car that can have some space because he's what we call in Norway, Norway a skilled missa. Yeah, um, he can look so kind of old junk. Yeah, he, he, he would like to, to bring stuff around. Uh, so, this is a car I probably would recommend to him, if he would like a new EV. Uh, because it has all you need, it has the range, it has the space, uh, the equipment, the safety, and it's a Hyundai uh, Kia product and you know what you get. And it won't break down. No. And you have... Uh... And probably the... I think, for me, uh, or uh, uh, for my, uh, I think that this car in 2019, you will have this um, tow bar. Yes, tow bar. That's a perfect car for Norway. The only thing it misses is for a drive, but to be honest, that's not really a, that big of a loss for Melody. 2019, it will have a tow bar and it will also have this uh, app. Yeah. This is an aspect where everybody screams their head off about Model 3, it's too small, too narrow. Because people think of it as a family product. I don't have a family, I don't have children, I don't really, really care about that aspect of it. But this car, you have space for your children, you have a uh, good luggage space, and you can put the seats down. And it's a good family car. Uh, I mean, one, uh, a person in the, in, the, uh, in the EV association, in the board I'm on, he, he got his car recently and his, they have two or three children or something. I think it's true. Yeah, and his, they're really, really happy with it. They fills all their needs. And it's, yes, $41,000 is a lot of money for many people. Uh, I understand that. But the running costs are low, and at least at home. I mean, I had my soul, so I used a uh, bottle of town very much uh, for questions and servicing and that, all that kind of things. Very, very nice service, nice people you get, the, you always welcome there. So uh, they, they have a very well built out uh, organization, they're everywhere, basically. I think this is going to be a very good car for, for very many people. It's a very friendly car. It is. And there's nothing wrong with it. And you can say, okay, fine, it isn't the 
sport, yes. Maybe I'll test them on the bike with me or touch my car, but it's in a different price range. Test them on my car. And, 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 and not everybody wants sport. Everybody's a little bit road, road noisy, yeah? That's how it is. That's how actually all the engine does it. Uh, if you don't want that, then buy a VW product. Uh, it, it's a competent, well thought out, practical, well equipped package of a car that won't, will never scare you, you will never be lost in it. Uh, and it uh, most probably, maybe apart from a puncture, uh, never will leave you stranded either. So, and it can support uh, high power charging. So, as more and more high power chargers uh, look up across our country and also across Europe, you will be able to go where you want to eat. Well, uh, I guess it's time to draw a con con conclusion. I came up with a word on the way here that uh, I think sums up the car pretty well. It's a solid car. Yeah. Very good. Very good choice of word. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's it. Yes, it could have been more. It could have done a bit other things. It could have been more sporty. It could have been front. It could have done this and that. But it doesn't. But it is solid, and you know, there's nothing wrong with it. Everything is where it's supposed to be, and everything is. I don't know, it's like a Mazda or a Honda or... It, 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 it's just competent in every way. Is it sporty? No. Is it meant to be sporty? No. Uh, and that's perfectly okay. Very good car though. Anything, anything to add? No, I think you summed up it very well. Solid car, you know what to get. It's a Hyundai. I'm oh, sorry, it's a Kia. Uh, uh, so you know what to get. Um, yeah, I think uh, this year it will be the Ineos year. It will be the Tesla Model 3 year, but if you don't want a Tesla, this is a very good uh, alternative. It's a very good family car. Yeah. Because uh, you get space for the dog if it, if it isn't a too big dog. If it's too big dog, you need something, something else. A uh, suburban, for instance. But that's not electric. No. <laughs> or you can just buy a Passat wagon, probably. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, that's all for now. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Share. Yeah, all that stuff. And... Uh, See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.